I'm not putting a bra on today. Why? Um, so I haven't really made any videos because since this whole thing kicked off because I've still been working, um, just working from home, Zoom meetings, the whole deal. And also, do you know how unexciting it is to like move from my bed to the sofa back to bed because I feel like lying down. I feel like sitting up and having something to eat. Like that's not the most exciting. <laughs> so I haven't, but I think what is a little bit different if you're watching from a western country what's been different here in Kuwait I feel and I guess I'm getting that impression from some of the news articles I've read I'm from New Zealand as you know and they've got like a level system which I'm super confused about because still you can go to the store regardless of whatever level it is at whatever time the store is open you might just have to wait in a longer queue than usual that's my impression anyway please correct me if I'm wrong whereas here that's the thing I had to make this appointment I did it last night at like I don't know let's say seven o'clock I know it was dark <laughs> that's like my whole thing is it light outside is it dark outside <laughs> there were appointments there were morning appointments from like I think half past nine onwards and then I did the af afternoon shift which was from like 12 till I think 2.30 was the last appointment. Government over the course of, when did I fly in? Like two months? So like from March through to now it's May and I realize that I'm uploading this way later. It's cause, and it's also what I've been doing to keep busy. I've had such a backlog of videos that I hadn't published. So that's why this is like not timely, but with every measure it's been like they've just limited and limited and limited movements which great however my I guess my my initial issue was when they stopped delivery since then it's been really inconvenient because and I happen to live in one of the suburbs quite early on they shut off a few suburbs and I happen to live in one of those shut us off and since that happened that's when I've really struggled because food security has been I've I, the, I think that's the worst part I'm I realize I'm coming from a place of privilege I still have my job I know I can get another um, I've got a home to go to when the time when it's time to leave and it's not the greatest space to be coming in coming from to be like ah oh, food security is a real problem because there are a whole huge number of people that have had it and got it way worse than I do really like oh, I, I can't even begin to imagine none of those people are people I know so I don't have any insight to what that's actually like but I can only imagine and that's terrifying there aren't stories about them and what the struggle really is so I'm just sharing from my point of view and it comes from a place of privilege there's no there's no two ways about it prior to all of this outbreak I went to the supermarket I think it was four times <laughs> before because you could get delivery from the supermarket and because the cost of a cab was more than the delivery cost then for me it wasn't financially worthwhile and also I think that I shop better online because I'm not like ooh, 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 I haven't had that for a while. This is my first time living in a food desert and there's a few and there are American restaurants but they're closed right now but there were American restaurants and that's it like there wasn't a store. Fortunately they have delivery in the Middle East which is beautiful I think it's really crap that these kind of, of places exist and I must say because of this virus that I, that's when I finally noticed 
what is actually within my suburb, within walking distance? Because I actually couldn't have told you before this virus. I had no idea because I got delivery. This little co-op opened as a result of this. So great. <laughs> I mean, they've slapdashed it together pretty damn quickly, but it serves its purpose. It's not great. I certainly wish I could have Countdown back and save. In fact, any supermarket in Saudi I used to shop at Care For, like that would be, that's a freaking dream at this moment because basically you've got once a week, this is the stock that we happen to have during your appointment time, take it or leave it. The last time I went, when there was no milk, there was no bread, there was no cheese, which are pretty staple items for this region. There was no fruit, there was no vegetables. Ever since then, in March, then there's just been limitation, 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 and it's not done in like this level thing. You get a maybe 48 hours notice, and then the next thing comes in. So you've got two hours a day between 4:30 and 6:30. But since I've walked past a bunch of people now. I don't know if that's actually the case, but that's what it's supposed to be. I've never actually been out yet during that time. There's so many people outside during that time. I can see out my window that I'm just like, I don't want to go outside during curfew, yeah. Were horrendous. Like, I think it's 10,000 KD plus jail time. Like, a fortune. Which I think is great because it's limited, it should have limited people on social media how the news is like relayed to us, which is fine, great, you've been going through it too. What it's like here for me, and that's the thing, it's certainly, I guess it's why I'm really wanting to say it's not a reflection of the country at all. Who have I seen? I saw the guy at the front desk who took my temperature, <laughs> same guy as usually is at the front of the building, and yep, <laughs> I'll continue just being here by myself. <laughs> so I have to do a massive shout out to all of my friends because they have been keeping me sane, sending me messages. Sometimes it's a bit trying and I guess there's definitely been days where yeah I certainly haven't got dressed and I'm like I'm not putting a bra on today. Why? <laughs> like I've got nothing to do. <laughs> and then there's other days that I feel more productive and I will get up and get dressed. Now I don't know what tomorrow is going to hold because I have nothing to do tomorrow. <laughs> I should edit a video so I can pop one up. That's what I should be doing. <laughs> also there's been less stuff work stuff to do I certainly even though it's transition from from being physically at work to being at home there's just been a lot less to do so I do come from a very grateful and privileged place in all of this there are millions that are worse off I just long for the days of delivery again but we can't get out of our suburb and it's been like this for weeks. But there is a literal fence around the possible exits to the suburb. And we're not the only suburb. 